fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Desire Driver and Zombie Rise Buckle and Rise Buckle Holder set from Kamen Rider Geats. So as you can probably tell, I'm not in my usual review station here, so I apologize if the lighting's a little off. I'm shooting this in my hotel room at PMC, and I want to give a huge shout out and a massive thank you to Team Common Rider for loaning this to me for the purpose of this review. I'm very excited to check it out. This is a massive set. As you can see here, we're getting four Rise Buckles. We're getting Magnum, Boost, Hammer, and Zombie, as well as two Core IDs for Geats and Buffa. And then we're also getting two Rise Buckle Holders, which are kind of like the little pieces that can clip onto the belt and hold auxiliary rise buckles. So this is a massive set, looks amazing. I'm really excited about this. We got Geats over here, we got Buffa over here. Uh, if we take a look at the top, it's going to show you all of the pieces that are included in the set, everything I just went over. If we take a look at the bottom here, just kind of your usual legalese, not really much going on there. And then I know you can't really see this because again, I apologize, <laughs> the lighting is not the best. Let me see, maybe if I turn it a little bit like this, uh, there are just a crazy amount of combinations because there are so many rise buckles You can just mix and match them and just have endless play with this thing, which is absolutely fantastic I'll try to go through all the combinations in this video, but it's going to be a lot of them uh, Over here on this side. It's just more of the combinations, but now with the zombie buckle So if we look at the back of the box here Again, it's just showing you all the different combinations. You have just the core ID, you have just hammer, you have just boost, you have just magnum, you have hammer and boost, hammer and magnum. Of course, the main form is magnum and boost. Then you have zombie. You can do zombie with any of the other combinations. And then it shows you the rise buckle holders here, how they can clip onto the belt. You can actually clip the gun on, which is actually really, really cool, as well as any other buckles that you just want to store on the side. It should work with any of them. So really cool box. This thing is absolutely massive. So let's go ahead. Let's get everything out of the box here and let's take a closer look. Okay, so here's everything you get for just kind of like the core desired driver. I do have the zombie stuff as well. I'm going to get to that a little bit later. There's just so much in this box, I can't really keep it all in frame at time. Uh, also, I'm just going to go ahead and apologize because there's a massive power strip here in the back of this desk that I'm using, and there's not really much I can do about that. So let's move on to the desired driver, kind of the core of the desired driver, if you will. This is what everything is going to attach to. You have your two connection ports here. You have the core ID spot that goes here in the center. You have this little button on top for when this spins. Uh, it does take three AAA batteries. You just go ahead and push in the little pin and then this spins around and then you put your batteries in, you click it back in, spin it closed. It has the two connections here for the belt, which I don't usually get them out of the box because I don't ever wear these things. But if you have a Diza or something like that, you would go ahead and connect the belt straps there. They are in the box. And you also get the little plastic cube that goes on the back to keep it in place. So we have the on and off switch right here. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. So there we go, it says its name. We will pop in the core ID for Geats. So it just says entry, and then we can go ahead and connect something. So we'll start with Magnum. So we just go ahead and pop this on. So the LED is really beautiful, really lights up nice. That looks absolutely fantastic. The LEDs are all here in the actual belt core, but they kind of just shine through uh, the individual uh, rise buckles that you attach and they just look absolutely fantastic. So you can hit the button there again for another attack sound. So it doesn't really matter if you spin this or just press the button, it's going to say uh, the attack sound there regardless. So uh, you can go ahead and push this and spin the whole thing around. It just says revolve on, so it's just like if he switches them quickly from either the top half to the bottom half. Magnum, 
And you can just see all the colors of the LED changes through here. It just looks absolutely fantastic. I really love that. So I think that's really cool. Next up, we'll try just boost. All right, so we'll pop boost on here. So once again, you can do it a second time to get the attack sound. Very, very cool. So next up we have Hammer, and with these tinier little auxiliary ones, they're very basic. There's not really much going on with them. They kind of have one moving part. I believe the Candy Toy and Gashapon ones are going to be exactly the same as the DX ones. So we'll go ahead and slide Hammer on. So it says armed hammer, ready fight. And you can see that when there's not kind of that clear piece to go over top of the LED, it's very, very bright on its own. And just like with the others, if we switch this around, it just says revolve on and then all the sounds are exactly the same after that. So let's go ahead and get to the main combination of Magnum and Boost. So it says, get ready for boost and magnum, ready, fight. And you get some really beautiful LED work there. That's just fantastic, the way it revolves all the way around there and changes colors. That's really, really cool. So if you do it once, it says magnum, boost, victory. If we do this twice, So you get the normal victory attack by doing it once. If you do it twice, it gives you another standby sound. You do it a third time, you get grand victory. So that's really cool. And again, if we go ahead and spin this, and then really that's just him switching uh, the top and the bottom, but all the attack sounds and everything after that would be the same. So of course we still have a ton of combinations to try out. So let's go ahead and do Magnum and Hammer. So it says Magnum, Armed Hammer, Ready, Fight. Now when you attach two of them, with the exception of Magnum and Boost, you only have to activate the one on the left. Then it'll say Dual On and it'll say the combination. Uh, if you hit the second one, it's gonna try to go right into the attack sound. Magnum, 
So you get Magnum Hammer Victory. So you'll notice with this combination, I'm assuming because it's kind of working like build where there's a best match, Magnum and Boost are kind of a best match, so that's why you can get the Grand Victory attack. When you have ones that just kind of aren't a best match, then you can just get the one Victory attack. So we can't get the Grand Victory with this combination, only with Magnum and Boost. And then again, if we want to go ahead and flip it around... I must have hit the sound while I was spinning it. Let's try it again. There we go. So next up we'll do boost and hammer. So that's most of what we can do with kind of the basic Desire Driver stuff, but I wanted to go ahead and bring in the Zombie Rise buckle here because Geats is going to use this at some point on the show. I believe we've seen scans of that already. So let's go ahead and pop this on. So that makes some really fun sounds there at the end. But of course now we can do zombie with all of the other combinations. So let's go ahead and bring in Magnum. So again, we only get the one victory attack because these two aren't like a best match. Next up, Zombie Boost.
So there we go. It looks like these two might be a best match as well, or it might just be because it's boost and it says boost time. So it might just be anything you combined with boost. But either way, we can get the uh, grand victory attack sound with these two. Okay, so I went back and tried it with hammer again, and it is activated by actually using boost. So it's anything you pair with boost, you can get the boost time by doing this twice. So if you activate on this side, you'll get just the victory, but if you do this twice specifically with boost, now this obviously isn't going to work with ones that aren't paired with boost like we saw with hammer and magnum, but whatever you pair with boost, if you crank this twice, you'll enter boost time and then you'll get the grand victory. So let's get back to the zombie combinations and we'll go with hammer. So getting back to the zombie rise buckle and rise buckle holder part of the set, this kind of will all be bundled together as a separate release if you buy just the regular version of the driver which comes with this piece here, the core ID for Geats, Magnum, Boost, and Hammer, that's kind of the normal release of the desired driver. And then this is the zombie rise buckle and rise buckle holder set. They've done it as a giant bundle here, but this would be another option if you wanted to buy the driver on its own, then this would come as a separate release. Uh, so we do have the core ID here for Buffa. Now, as far as I can tell with the core IDs, I don't think they have any way to like change the sounds in the driver. They really don't look like they have any kind of pin system or anything like that. So I'm really not sure. They don't seem to make the sounds that are coming out of the driver any different. So I think it's kind of just purely an aesthetic thing. I don't really think they serve any kind of purpose to change the sounds in the driver as far as I can tell. From what I've been trying to do and play with this, I don't really see any way that this is going to alter the sounds. Uh, but it just looks really neat. And of course you do have the two rise buckle holders. These would obviously have the belt just feed through here. You have this button on the top that can kind of change the orientation. So if you want to put them at an angle, if you want to put it uh, just straight up and down, and it's just very simple. These just kind of slide on here. And that way you can have an extra one on his belt so he can switch them out in battle. Very simple. You can also uh, slide the gun on here when that is available. So that will be very cool as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these two off to the side. You do get two of them. And I just wanted to show those off. So let's go ahead. We will pop in the core ID for Buffa. So again, it just says entry, and then we will go ahead and pop on the zombie rise buckle. I really like those sounds at the end. They're kind of gross, but hilarious. So quick little note, I've been calling them rise buckles this whole time. It's definitely raise buckles, so I do apologize for that. But this thing is absolutely fantastic. There's so much playability. There are so many different combinations. And this is just the first set right out of the box. This thing comes with four different raise buckles. If you got the campaign bonus, that's five different raise buckles. And that's just a ton of different combinations that you can do. And we already know there's going to be so many riders in this show, and that means there's going to be so many raise buckles by the time this thing is done. 
there's just going to be an infinite number of possibilities and combinations that you can do and that's just so fun and intriguing such a great gimmick plus you can switch the order they're in so even if you have the same combination you know one can be the top one can be the bottom switch it back and forth there's so much that's going to be able to be done with this thing by the time it's done. I can't even think about what the power-ups are going to be like. They're going to be kind of giant, massive things to clip onto the sides of these. I can't wait. This year is going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really excited for it. So I definitely recommend getting your hands on this if you can. Um, when mine, actually my one that's going to be mine, actually gets here from Amazon Japan, if you guys want me to do another follow-up video, I can absolutely do that. Like I said, I do apologize. The lighting on this one is not the best. I'm not in my usual review station, so again, I am sorry, but this is just so much fun to play around with. Like I said, there's just going to be so much that you can do. So you can either get the Desire Driver, which is kind of like everything on this side by itself. You could get this by itself, which is the two uh, raised buckle holders, the Zombie raised buckle and the Buffa Core ID. That's going to be sold separately. This is going to be sold separately, or you can get them all together here in this giant bundle uh, like I have here. So definitely whichever way you want to collect this stuff i think it's going to be so much fun i mean there's just going to be so many different buckles by the time this is done so many different possibilities i am just beyond excited so again huge shout out and huge massive thank you to team common rider for loaning this to me to play with early and uh, get a review out here for you guys so i'm super excited but let me know what you guys think in the comments below please like share and subscribe Hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, and thank you all so much for watching.